Hey guys! This is Cartoon Recapped. Today we'll show you a 2023 family adventure cartoon called Katak, the Brave Beluga. Be aware of heavy spoilers. Sit back and enjoy the show. Katak is a young beluga whale who has yet to turn white like others his age. He lives in the Saguenay Fjord National Park with a pod of beluga whales which include his overprotective mother Marina, his pregnant aunt Estelle, his friends Lulu and Naya, the elder whale Bosco, his dying grandmother and Albi who frequently picks on Katak. Katak's grandmother frequently tells Katak the story of his grandfather, whom he is named after, and how he was the first one to survive an encounter with the killer whale jackknife who eats anyone he encounters. He fell in love with Katak's grandmother, but he left for the Arctic before he could find out about her pregnancy. The pod is slowly dying out due to whales failing to have babies, and Estelle suffers a miscarriage after being stressed out by the sound of a boat horn. Bosco believes the pod will have to move south to survive, but when Katak overhears a conversation about his grandmother possibly losing the will to live due to Estelle's miscarriage, he decides to head to the Arctic to bring his grandfather back to his grandmother. While on his way to the Arctic, Katak meets a sturgeon named Cyrano who decides to accompany him, and he also encounters Jackknife, whom he barely escapes from. Katak later meets Jackknife's daughter Jacqueline, who is a vegetarian and does not want to be a killer like her father. Animals that Katak meets on his journey soon began talking about his journey to the Arctic, and after overhearing the animals and learning that Katak is the grandson of the whale who bested him in combat, Jackknife becomes determined to kill Katak as revenge for his humiliating defeat. Jacqueline accompanies her father so she can keep making sure Katak and Cyrano are able to evade him. Katak and Jacqueline quickly become friends during their numerous encounters with each other, and Jacqueline later helps Katak escape her father after he is cornered by him again. Jackknife has a falling out with his daughter upon learning of her friendship with Katak and how she is against his mission. When the pod of beluga whales learn of Katak's disappearance, Lulu, Bosco, Albi and Naya set out to find Katak and bring him home. They learn where he is heading from the animals he met and set out for the Arctic as well. Cyrano gets sick during his travels with Katak, but he continues to stay by his side. When Katak and Cyrano finally reach the Arctic, Bosco's group arrives shortly afterwards and get separated from Elby when a nearby iceberg collapses next to them. Katak and Cyrano find Albi and bring him back to the other whales, and Bosco's group joins Katak on his mission to find his grandfather. Cyrano later bids Katak farewell, so he doesn't continue to get sick. When the whales stop to rest for the night, the water around them turns to ice and traps them in an area with no open water, but thanks to Katak being able to hold his breath for a long time, he is able to find open water and lead the other whales there. The whales are then attacked by a polar bear, but Jacqueline and Jackknife come to their rescue and help them escape. Jackknife loses his life in his fight with the polar bear, and before he dies, he reconciles with his daughter and encourages her to live her life how she wants to. Katak and the whales continue their journey and eventually find another pod of beluga whales. Katak finally meets his grandfather who agrees to go home with him to be with his love again, and the rest of the pod decides to accompany Katak's group back home as well so both pods can have a better chance of surviving. While the whales head home, Katak meets Jacqueline again and comforts her over the loss of her father. The two agree they will be friends for life and are confident that they will see each other again one day. When the pod returns home, Albi apologizes to Katak for picking on him. Katak's grandfather and grandmother share a heartfelt reunion. Sometime afterwards, Katak's grandmother passes away and Estelle finally gives birth to a daughter of her own. As Katak welcomes the new member of the pod, Cyrano arrives to visit him. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.